today's vlog is about drip-free tilias. Everybody knows the problem, of course, when you have parked your uh, car under uh, some tilias and there's some drip uh, falling on the windows or on the windows of your house. This has to do because uh, aphids love uh, certain types of uh, tilias and they like to suck on the fresh leaves. Uh, and then at the moment uh, those aphids suck on it, they uh, discrete sugars. And uh, those sugars are loved by uh, ants and by bees. Some bees even make um, honeydew uh, uh, honey of it, uh, which is very special. Um, but of course, uh, most people don't like it when those aphids uh, are on the trees. And uh, that's why there are certain cultivars that are aphid uh, free. And we're going to take a look at uh, some of them. Um, some trees have uh, hairs uh, on their leaves and that's why the aphids uh, don't like it or they have very tough leaves so the aphids cannot suck on them uh, very well. I would also like to introduce uh, my dog who is looking at another dog uh, now. His name is uh, Louis and it's an Airedale Terrier of uh, one year uh, old approximately. And we're going into the nursery to look at the trees now. This is Tilia flavescens Glen Levin. And Flavlessis Glen Levin is a hybrid between Tilia Americana and um, Cordata. Um, this tree originated uh, from uh, Canada and it was discovered in the 60s uh, already. Uh, it's a tree that can get quite high. It uh, gets up to 18 to 25 meters uh, in height and it doesn't get uh, too wide. Uh, the crown is a bit uh, rounded when the tree gets uh, older. Uh, it's a tree that can be used on all different types uh, of soil and it's uh, also very resistant to aphids and to drip, uh, of course. Um, it's also a rich uh, bloomer, so there's a lot of uh, bees coming to it that uh, collect the honey uh, from the flowers uh, in the summertime. Uh, also, it's very resistant to drought. Uh, it can be planted in paved surfaces. So a very healthy, good tree that needs some space, but uh, can be very well used as an avenue tree. Tilia flavescens Glen Levin. Do you like our videos? Then please give us a thumb up and help us uh, ranking higher on YouTube. This is Tilia tomatosa Brabant. Uh, Brabant is a tree that gets up to 20 to 25 meters uh, in height and with a crown with a spread of about 15 uh, meters. So it's quite a large trees, tree that need, uh, needs a lot of space. Um, Tilia tomatosa Brabant stands out through its um, felty uh, leaves. On the underside it's uh, silvery white and this is because it's all covered in very small uh, hairs and the aphids don't like to walk on those uh, hairs. So that's why they uh, are not vulnerable uh, for aphids and uh, for dripping, uh, of course. Uh, it's a tree that needs uh, some space. It can grow on almost every surface. Um, they attract a lot of uh, bees and bumblebees uh, in the summertime. And it's also very drought resistant. So it's a very good tree uh, for the future, uh, I would say. Tilia tomatosa Brabant. This is uh, Tilia Mongolica Buddha and uh, this is a cultivar of the Mongolian uh, linden and uh, this uh, Buddha was discovered in uh, Hungary and that's where this one originated uh, from. It not, it's not so long uh, on the market, it's quite a new discovery but it stands out because it's uh, totally free of uh, aphids and uh, it has a very nice uh, leaf that is uh, roughly uh, toothed and uh, it's a small, relatively small tree but can be used very well uh, as a street tree. It gets up to 6 to 8 meters uh, in height. Can be used on all different uh, soil types. It's quite uh, drought resistant as well. And when it flowers it attracts a lot of uh, bees and uh, bumblebees uh, of course. Uh, it doesn't get too bi big, about 6 to 8 meters uh, in height. Uh, also, the autumn coloration is quite spectacular. It's totally yellow. Good uh, winter resistant. Uh, one uh, thing that we did here is because these trees will be supplied uh, during uh, the summer. So we have made specially uh, coconut uh, fiber root balls uh, on them. So we can uh, plant them from uh, mid-July uh, to the end of uh, August. Um, also, the trunks are protected with special coconut fiber. This is wrapped around uh, the trunks. So they don't get uh, sunburn from the, western, from the western side when the sun uh, sets uh, in the evening. So they're well uh, protected. Very nice cultivar, Tilia Mongolica Buddha. This is Tilia Heterophylla Prestige. 
and this tree originated uh, from the United States. Uh, the, the, the leaves are quite uh, large and uh, they're a bit uneven uh, on the base. And uh, on the bottom side they have a silvery uh, felt and the aphids don't like to walk on that so uh, that's why uh, they're not uh, infested uh, with aphids and uh, they don't uh, drip at all. The crown is uh, relatively, relatively small, uh, it's, it's quite narrow and it will stay like this in the future, it's more oval uh, rounded uh, later on. Uh, the tree gets up to 12 to 80 meters uh, in height and it uh, can grow on all different uh, types of uh, soil. It's quite resistant uh, to drought, uh, it's healthy, it's uh, quite unknown but people uh, should uh, use it uh, more. Very nice healthy tree, Tilia Etrophila Prestige. This is Tilia Cordata Savaria. It's a cultivar that originated uh, from Hungary and it's not so long on the market uh, so far. Uh, it stands out because the leaves are a bit more tough than of the other Tilia Cordata cultivars and uh, so it uh, is more resistant to uh, aphids and it doesn't have this uh, irritating uh, drip. Um, it's a tree that can get up to 12 to 20, 20 meters uh, in height and the spread is approximately 10 meters. In the youth phase the crown is more pyramidal uh, shaped but it gets more oval uh, shaped uh, when the tree uh, gets uh, older. Uh, it can grow on any uh, soil and it's also very drought uh, resistant. It's also uh, a good tree uh, for the flowering. It attracts a lot of uh, bees and uh, bumblebees uh, as well. Also, if you want to make honey, it's a good tree to have around. Tilia Cordata Savaria. Well, I hope you learned something more about drip-free Tilias. If you want to be updated on new tree videos, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time.